janitorial workers meant business as they rallied outside of the San Diego County Administration Building in support of former co-workers who claim they suffered severe punishment in retaliation for trying to start a union for better working conditions. One of them is Sofia Martinez. Me hicieron tirar. They made me dump 15 liters of chemicals on the floor that smelled really bad and remove the residue off of the floor with a knife for eight hours on my hands and knees, she said. And the next day, they wanted me to do the same thing, and I said no. I needed the specialized equipment. My hands were burned and my nose was bleeding, she said. Martina says she felt so sick that she went home and could not do the same work the next day. She says that's why she was fired by Nova, the company that contracts with the county for janitorial services. Christian Rodriguez is the policy director with the Service Employees International Union and United Service Workers West, the union Martinez was organizing for. The union is demanding Nova give the fired workers their jobs back. These jobs used to be county jobs. And now, uh, well, about 20 years ago, the county decided to contract workers off hiring mostly immigrant women who work in the night shift, paying them close to minimum wage with no health benefits, with no paid holidays, no paid vacation. And on top of that, uh, they have faced uh, unjust working conditions. We reached out to Nova. They told us they could not comment except to say they're working with the county. I'm gonna, I'm gonna translate really Nora Vargas, the first Latina elected chair, met with the janitors in the morning. She came out just before the supervisors meeting to give the workers a message of support in Spanish and English. Vargas asked the janitors to give the county two weeks to negotiate with Nova. They agreed. You have my commitment, no one. No one in the county of San Diego who works here is allowed to be treated inhumanely and disrespected, not on my watch. Martina says she's been out of work with two weeks without pay and says her lungs still hurt and can't afford to go to the doctor. But today, she went inside the building she had cleaned for the past 10 years. Buenas tardes, mi nombre es Sofia Martinez. Tengo 10 años trabajando para el county y yo... Okay. Good, afternoon. Good morning. My name is Sofia Martinez. I've been working for the county for 10 years. Only this time to stand behind the podium and speak to the County Board of Supervisors. She recounted the abuse, but also spoke about why she put up with the mistreatment to form a union for her 14-year-old foster son. Y a él le enseño que hay que hablar y no tener miedo. I am teaching him that he needs to talk and not be afraid. Y no pelear con golpes, sino con palabras. And not to fight with hitting, uh, but to fight with words. You see, her son, she says, is the one who gave her the strength to keep fighting because she fought for him too. Mi hijo fue el que me ayudó a no estallar y irme a abandonar el trabajo, a estar aguantando firmemente. Pensaba en él todo el tiempo y decía, tengo que luchar por él. Then Martinez came out of the building, the very same one she says she scraped a floor soaked in chemicals for eight hours on her knees. She was met with cheers. Kitty Alvarado, KPBS News.